What's up everybody? This is Gaming God and this is going to be our third walkthrough of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. And before we get into the video, I want to say that we... That I filmed this video like last week, the week before it's released like right now. And we might have hit 200 subscribers, so thank you everybody for giving me 200 subscribers. If we didn't, if we didn't hit 200 subscribers, if we didn't hit 200 subscribers, I want to, I just want to say, let's keep getting su those subscribers up. And yep, I'm really, I'm really excited to get, I'm really hyped up for 200 subscribers. So. Yeah. All right, let's get into this video. All right, we're on file three. Prologue, three houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Garrick Mox Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Garrick Mock. Garrick Mock, Church of Cyros. Wow, that's a really nice church. Raya. And I am the Archbishop of the Church of Zeros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. Show some pride. Remain humble. I'm gonna show pride. Uh, it was nothing. You take a job, make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. Okay, t turn her down. Express interest in the offer. I'm gonna express interest. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. Alright, agree to enroll in the Officer's Academy. Alright, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fortnite. Some are noble, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof, so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodland's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. I never played three houses, but I'm starting to learn from this 
from this game. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Lester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Okay, which house should I join? Should I join the Black Eagles? Should I join the Golden Deer? Or should I join the Blue Lions? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with the Blue Lions. So you wish to join Dimitri's Blue Lions. Are you certain? Nod your assent. We consider your choice. Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Greet him. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> That's what I would say to my college professors. Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house. Hmm? I don't care. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. All of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Uh, sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. The students of the Blue Line House are now playable. Alright, the students... Okay, Dimitri, Holy Knight of Fargus. Alright, that's his... Alright. Dedu, Ho... Felix. Mercedes. Ash. Annette Sylvain Ingrid Professor Yuritsa told me the good news. Welcome to the Blue Lion House. I'm excited for us to learn and grow together. But for now, please. Make yourself at home. Our whole house has been buzzing since we heard you were getting assigned here. So, we're going to treat you to a welcome feast tonight. <laughs> Assuming you're okay with the fancy offerings at the dining hall, that is. You saved His Highness's life. That means the whole kingdom owes you one. And I can't think of a better way to get to know each other than gathering around a table for a meal. Enough chatter. You're a mercenary, right? How's your swordsmanship? You must have some skill if the boar here give you passing marks. But I won't know for sure until we cross blades at the training grounds. I'll see you there before dinner. That's no way to talk, Felix. You are being rude. Still, I must admit I'm curious as well. Rumor has it you're quite the exceptional fighter. 
I'm happy to spar with any of you. Frankly, this brings me right back to my old Merc buddies. Trade blows if you must, but please try not to injure each other. The training grounds can be a little tough to find. Oh, why don't I show you the way later? Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. One wrong turn and you're up in the library staring down the tallest stack of books you've ever seen. Yes, this is the largest monastery in Fodlan, so it's easy to get lost if you let your mind wander. If you struggle to settle in, say so. You helped His Highness. We are in your debt. Remember your mission? We are to stamp out what's left of the Iron King's thieves. If I may, Professor, it seems a bit challenging for a first mission. But their leader, Costas, has already been dealt with. If the Professor thinks us capable of mopping up the rest, I trust his judgment. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Profe- Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he just walked out. Professor Yuritsa isn't much of a talker. Or easy to talk to, for that matter. No wonder that guy is so gloomy. I'm certain you'll get used to him. He may be a touch curt, but he's not a bad person at heart. He's just, he's just not a happy person, that's all. Still, bandit hunting right out of the gate? This is quite the mission. After the events in the mountains, I hesitate to put His Highness in further danger. You worry too much to do. Besides, we have a trustworthy new ally coming with us. Okay. Take the praise and run with it. Advise greater caution. I'm gonna go with this one. Bandits have done that before, and I'll do it again. Huh? Well, I'm convinced. Whatever the case, we should be doubly prepared. And we'll be counting on our mercenary friend here to assist us. Okay. Express quiet confidence. I won't let you down. Two weeks later. Edelgard and is talking to uh Oh man, I forgot. There you are, Yuritsa. I have work for Yuritsa. It's time. Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose Land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you, this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. <coughs> Sight of them. Shame to admit it, but yes, it's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow. Signs of life. 
It could be a trap, Talora said. Alright, so I suggest you hold back or suggest you charge forth. I, th I think we should hold back for everybody's safety. It's not smart to rush an enemy stronghold when we have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We should hold off for now. I completely agree. I mean, look at the place. It's both dark and creepy. The decision is not ours to make. That's right. We're still on a mission after all. It's up to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But isn't it dangerous for us to go by ourselves? There can't be more than a handful. You should have no issue. If need be, I will intervene. Yeah, you sound confident, but I've still got a bad feeling about this. Brace for the worst. No guts, no glory, am I right? Should things go awry, your highness, stay behind me. If things go awry, I will fall back. And I expect the rest of you to do the same. I'm more than ready for this fortress. <coughs> Let's see if it's ready for me. If the professor's with us, I'm certain we'll be fine. Then it's settled. Stay vigilant, everyone. Alright. Defeat the thieves. Victory conditions. Alright, victory and defeat con conditions. A battle ends in victory when you fulfill the victory conditions, and ends in defeat when you fulfill the defeat condition conditions. The route of important units such as the main character and house leaders will also result in defeat. These conditions can change during the course of battle. You can check the victory and defeat conditions from the battle prep screen and by sele selecting battle details from the pause menu. Alright, none. Alright, Shez. Ash. Dimitri. And Dee Dee. Do, do I have to order them? Man, I'm, I'm used to Hyrule, War Hyrule Warriors, but I'm not used to Fire Emblem. Auto Battle. Army Status System. Begin the battle. Okay, assigning adjutants. Press L to display quick menu 2. Approach an allied unit and press Y, L and Y to assign them as your adju adjutant. Press L and Y again to cancel the assignment. With an adjunct adjutant assigned, active unit stats will be raised based on the ad Adjutant's class. With at least support level C, you'll have access to the Adjutant's unique support and tactical, tactical abilities. Adjutant follow-up, Adjutant guard, and partner specials will activate. You can change that button display. Button dis you can change that when you can change what button displays quick menu to from the button settings menu. You can access this from the pause menu by selecting system, settings, button systems. You can also assign an adju adjutant by selecting your desired adjutant from the order screen, then pressing ZR, other, selecting the unit to whom you'd like to assign that adjutant and choosing as assign adjutant. Press L and A to switch the active unit for 
the adjutant. Note that you can only switch playable units into the active position. Defeat the gatekeeper. Gatekeepers and doors. Gates indicated by minus on the map on the map can be opened by defeating the its gatekeeper or by capturing an adjacent stronghold. Gates with X displayed will only open as the battle progresses. Alright, we defeated the gatekeeper. Defeat the gatekeeper. Defeated the gatekeeper. Seize the thieves base. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up. Oh. oh my god, how do I like All right, I have to go through here. Oh, a treasure chest. To find the key. I can get it open without one if you want. I'm not exactly proud of that skill, but... Ugh, I was all ready to grab an axe ball from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. I can't find it. Chests and keys. You'll sometimes find chests on the battlefield. To open them, you'll need a key. Find the enemy carrying the key and defeat them to obtain it. Some classes and units possess the ability to open chests without a key. Also, if the enemy with the key gets near the chest, they may steal the treasure. Defeat them before they escape to reclaim the treasure. Alright. Alright, Chez has leveled up. Gotta keep aiming higher. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. Alright, so who is this character? D Do, Dimitri, Ash, and that's me. Alright, let's see who do who does who. You know, I'm going to play as someone else. It's Dimitri. Okay. 
All right, pots. Break pots you find on the battlefield to receive gold or recovery items, dep depending on the color of the pot. Oh, I forgot to open the treasure chest. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Shez. Oh, I'm right over here. And I forgot to open the treasure chest. All right. All right. There. Taking control of the fortress. Now, let us have a look around. Search the basement. Something is amiss. Take the brick. Investigate the dungeon. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go open the treasure chest around here. All right, oh, we gotta get this first. All right, do that way. You leave me alone. Oh, we got something. Alright, how do you open it? Press Y. What is that, baby? New accessory. Alright, investigate the dungeon. Alright, that's this is the dungeon. This is the dungeon. All right, who's up there? Stronghold captain. I'm gonna play as Dimitri. Time to get to the dungeon. Hey, there's a prisoner down here. She looks like an academy student. All right, let's. Re Let's rescue that prisoner. Light, lightning magic in the shocked status. Lightning magic attacks may inflict the shocked status on enemies. Shocked units will discharge electricity when sent flying. This elect electrical charge will this this electrical discharge will damage surrounding units and inflict them with the shocked status as well. The stronger an elemental effect of the attack of the attack, the greater the chance of inflicting the shock status. The damage from the ele electrical discharge will also be greater. So we, we released the prisoner. Are you here to rescue me? Are you all right? What are you doing here? Never mind. We can discuss that later. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. 
the, a mysterious soldier and her allies appeared. We must take the girl and run. Escort the girl to safety. Defense orders. Use the guard order from the order screen and select units. Selected units will guard and fight off this. Will guard and fight beside the specific target. This is useful in missions that call for protecting allies. Guard ZR. They're after the girl. Well, we shook this hornet's nest, so it's on us to keep her safe. Where's the girl? Where's the girl? Oh, these are the soldiers that the girl... That's after the girl. Oh, don't let the, three, the thief retreat. Press this for orders. All right. So will it ask? Take off. Attack the thief. Right back. All right, side missions. Side missions don't directly influence the outcome of the battle. Completing them will, might give you an, an advantage in the battle or net you a reward. All right, where's the girl? Where did the girl go? <laughs> Alright, we protected the girl. Alright, who is this character? Kronya. Hi there. I'm Kronya. And you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. He has a bow and arrow. Where did the thief go? Defeat Kronya. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Alright, Kronya's over here. So. Where, where is Shez? No, it's not Shez. That is not Shez. Oh, I think I'm up here. Alright, Shez, he can go over here to, to defeat Kronya. I don't know where the thief went. Oh, 
All right, we defeated the thief. All right, Kronia. All right, did we defeated Kronia? <clears throat> Pick up a weapon pack and you'll acquire weapons after the battle. The weapon level depends on the color of the bundle. From best to worst, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Gray sacks contain broken weapons. We defeated Kronia. Oh my god, wild demon beast. Alright, this is where the wild beast is. Defeat the wild beast. Defeat the wild demon beast. Alright, we're gonna order everybody. We're gonna order everybody to to fight the demon beast. Alright, is that everybody? Yeah, I believe that's everybody. Alright, off to the demon beast. Monsters. Monsters are huge enemies that are quite unlike normal soldiers. When you are near a monster, its HP and weakness will be displayed at the top of the screen. Monsters are protected by four barriers. Barriers can be destroyed using the attacks that will correspond to the monster's weakness or by using an awakened attack. Destroying the barrier will inflict an armor break on the enemy. While a monster's armor, armor is broken, it will be unable to act. Approach it and press X to perform a critical rush and cause it to lose, its, lose one HP gauge. Each time an arm, armor break is triggered, you can get rare resources. The icons on the right of the monster's HP gauge inflict Indicate how much HP gauge it has remaining. The clean the monster's HP gauge will remove one icon and fully restore its HP. Once all icons have been removed and its HP gauge depleted, the monster will be immobile, immobilized. Approach the monster and press X to finish it off. Finish it off with a critical rush. Attacking force. Where's the monster? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's gonna blow. Oh, Jesus. Here we go, we defeated the wild demon beast. All right, Kronia retreated. These names are wholly unfamiliar to me. But at least we won the day. All right, stage completed. All right. You obtained the following as an S rank and first time reward. All right, we're leveled up. Leveled up to six. All right, Ash is leveled up. I think I'm improving. I must keep aiming higher. I think I've grown. I'm 
I won't let myself stop here. Level seven. Alright, learning combat arts, magic, and abilities. When a unit's class level increases, they can gain new combat arts, magic, and abilities. These acquisitions can differ between units, even from those within the same class. Manage them from the convoy menu. This will help everyone out. How can I best use this power? I'm getting better. Alright, some weapons have attributes. Attributes come into effect when that weapon is equipped. There are several different types. Multiples from of the same weapon can have different attributes. Battles with a high recommended level will afford you greater chances of acquiring a weapon with good attributes. However, some weapons will always have the same attribute. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some heron. We should be safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritza, but the rest of you are this year's blue lions, I presume? That's correct. But if I may. How did you come to be wearing our uniform? Also, how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Were you enrolled at the Officers' Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. That would make you our senior, but... What are you doing in a place like this? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Monica. Alright. Mm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well... There's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. <laughs> Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? We saw others in the fortress. People who were clearly not bandits. This is just a thought. What if they were the ones truly in charge, and the bandits mere pawns? Alright. Agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary. She was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait, and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mock even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he 
is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. Here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Knights have been ordered to apprehend Tomas. As it happens, he's been absent from Garrick Mark for the last several days. They are using this opportunity to prepare quietly, and intend to seize him upon his return. Hard to believe someone within the monastery was working against us. It's shocking, yes, but we have testimony from the very person he abducted, not to mention all the other evidence they found. No surprise they want to bring the guy in. This could be our only chance to find out about his co-conspirators. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He used to help me track down all manner of obscure books. I always thought he was just a kind old man. Tomas is the last person I picture as a murderous kidnapper. I asked around, and it seems he's been in his current position for over 40 years. Why he choose to lash out at the church now is beyond me. Maybe his feelings aren't new. There could have been troubling signs for a while that we aren't aware of. Even if that's true, what is the point of kidnapping a student? Alright, venture a guess. Ransom, maybe? The kidnapped student is from an Imperial house. Or maybe he wants to tarnish the church's reputation. Well, look at you reasoning things out. Your new friends must be rubbing off on you. Your Highness, did this man hire the bandits that attacked you in the mountains? That's what I'm told, but I've yet to confirm it. There is evidence that seems to link them. I don't know about you, but I'm going to feel a lot less safe after this. You're not alone. Rumors are flying around the monastery about who else might be a traitor. You'd think the church would do a better job vetting the people they employ. Maybe it's not so easy to... Hey, do you hear that? Something's happening outside. What is it, not a battle? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. Okay, we're gonna have another battle, I, I guess? Don't know why. Dash off without a word. Wait, where are you? Of course. Tomas. Alright, we're gonna battle. There he is! That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What? What is this? <laughs> what kind of power is he using? What? Oh my god, look at him. Oh. Such hubris from me of vermin. You will pay for this. He got away. Find him! Right! What he did was just like... Wow. We, we really had an awesome time joining the Blue Lions and fighting along with them against the... Uh,
bad guys and defeating the the demon beast. All right. So next week we're gonna we're gonna see if we can like fight Tumas in the next episode. So stick to it. All right. This is Gaming Guard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see ya.